Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to have a look at another add-on by Kushiro CG which is called Slide Edge. Slide Edge is a modeling add-on that lets you clone edges and create new geometry which is something that you cannot do with the blended tools. In some cases the insert tool will work or the bevel tool but in many situations you'll just have to cut your edges manually which is a lot more work. So let's have a look at how this tool works. Once you've installed it and go to edit mode, you can right click and you will find the tool somewhere at the bottom of this menu here. And it's a bit cumbersome to get to this tool, so if you right click you can add it to your quick favorites, which is what I've done, or you can assign a shortcut for this tool. To speed things up, I've prepared this object and I've also stored a couple of selections using the forgotten tools. Forgotten Tools is a free add-on for Blender. Unfortunately, it is not 100% compatible with Blender 3. I hope this will get updated at some point because Forgotten Tools is one of my favorite free add-ons for Blender. And here you can see I've stored a couple of selections. I can recall them, which will give me a Python error, but it's still working. So here we go. We have our first edge selection here. And if I use Slide Edge, all I need to do is move my mouse left to right. You can also move your mouse up and down, but I find that it's often more difficult to control the movement. So left to right is what you want to do. And you can also hold down your shift key to fine tune the movement. You can always hit escape to exit, or if you're happy with what you have, just left click to confirm the operation. And there we go, we have created new geometry here. So it's a pretty fast way to clone edges and add new geometry to your mesh with this tool. And of course, this is a very simple example. Let's use another selection here. And this is something that's usually problematic and you have to go in and cut your edges manually in Blender. With Slide Edge, it's really easy to create a border around this opening here. Next example is this one. You can also use multiple selections to clone edges. And Slide Edge will give you nice looking results for multiple selections as well. I have one more selection that I want to show you. Now in this particular case we could use the bevel tool to create edge loops, but the bevel tool will always create edges on the inside and on the outside. With Slide Edge you can only create one edge loop but you can decide if you want this on the outside of that cutout or if you want to create the edge loop on the inside of this cutout. I think Slide Edge is a really great tool. It's a little expensive if you ask me, but it was totally worth it for me because it makes cloning edges a piece of cake and it is very useful in many situations where the blended tools can't do the job or where you just have to do things manually. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in the next video.